Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Flying Alaska with me and me heard 37. So we're over here in Dead Horse. That doesn't look right. Well, alright. Those look like they're buildings but they're sunk down into the ground. <laughs> These two. It's probably because of uh, Open Alaska. The Open LC. That's alright. Hopefully it's alright. We don't have too many other problems. In this episode we're going to go over to Barter Island. P-A-B-A. Uh, it's supposed to be about a hundred miles. Let's go over to FS passengers. Man, I hope so this hope is not s totally screwed up. Don't need much fuel. I'll put it like 32%. Like I say, it's like a hundred miles. It's not very far at all. I should get more than that. Maybe like uh, 650. Yeah, I'll put 650 and leave it right there. We'll set type to a normal flight. And set destination is, like I said, P-A-B-A, -A, Barter Island. Destination set. Load immediately. Check flight control. Got everybody? Check By the way, Dead Horse is P-A-S-C. Put your belts on. All right, battery on, lift generator on, nav, overhead beacon. Let's fire up. She going there for a second? I thought no, it was. Didn't sound like it. Move that all the way up. Turn that starter off. See, is that fuel boost? I hate those triple switches. I don't know if I had that on or not. I thought I did. Left generator on. Fuel boost. Start up the right engine. There she goes. Move that all the way up. We'll turn the starter off and the fuel boost for it. Turn on the avionics bus, prop heat, pedo heat, stall vane, service goes to auto, hit shift H just to try and get that pedo heat, make sure if it goes off we'll just hit it again it'll come back right back on. Alright, don't believe there's a tower here, yeah just the traffic. Alright. Select our runway for takeoff, 4 and 22. Looks like this is 4 right here out to our right. It's a longer runway that I'm... If I remember correctly, this is the one we had visibility problems. I can't really remember. Okay, so we can really either way. Let's go down here and take off. I'd really like to take off to runway 4. Uh, since we're heading dead east. So let's just say runway 4. And yeah, we're going east. Right there. Alpha, Alpha, Sierra, Charlie, traffic, Charlie, uh, announced taxi. That got it. That's <laughs> stupid. I always forget that. First run. Dag on 1. Parking brake comes off. Do you want to push back? Move. It's the 5500. That might put us up in the clouds though. There's nothing that's going to be obstructing us either. I think we might be taxing the wrong way. Or pushing back the wrong way, I should say. Stop our pushback. Let's go down here. Taxi light comes on. Oh, we are taxiing the correct way, aren't we? Or we were pushing back the correct way. Wow, we had to push way back. I thought it was another short one like all the others. Apparently not. Is 
a weird flash for that radar, or whatever that is. Don't know exactly what the, the light, location light, I don't know what you call that. Alright. So I think we need to go down a little bit further. I don't think there's a ton of room there. We'll just go down here to the right, just to make sure we've got enough room. Go down to the next taxiway. She does get up pretty easily, but I'll just make sure of it here. About one notch of flaps. There's the GPS right there. Get back over. It makes it sound like we're flying down the taxiway. I don't know if we really are going that fast. I'm sure, it sounds it. Like. Well, the plane ain't moving. Alright, take this taxiway right here. Runway 4. Looks like uh, the GPS is saying it's exactly 100 miles. Exactly 100 miles. All right. Now let's say that we're departing to the east. <laughs> Stupid. Here Charlie. Traffic. Charlie. Golf 237. Taking off. Runway 4. Departure to the east. All right. Landing lights, you come on. Anti-collision light, you come on. Don't see anyone. Flaps are set. Set my view. I was going to say do a real take takeoff, but I want to set my heading real quick. I always forget that in this plane. Forget that in a lot of planes, probably. Alright, let's get out of here. Wait, full power? We have a low ceiling. I'm a little afraid of that. All right. Easy there. Easy there. I have to push my nose down. Now arm it. Let her climb 500 feet per minute. If I get everything set up and we take a look outside. Hi, dead horse. Hello, Barter Island. Man, there's nothing. Everything is once again set to extremely dense. It is kind of dark in here. I, it looks alright for me, but just in case you all can't see, I'll put on some lights. Maybe that's, that'll help everyone see. And we'll climb at a thousand feet now. see 97 miles and 45 minutes I'm surprised it's saying it's just gonna take that long I hope the weather isn't as bad as this it's just so I mean with 1400 feet you can barely see the ground it's just that 
low hanging clouds. It could be a real problem coming in. Trying to land on an island. Uh, it's got a fairly good sized runway. It's over 4,000 feet. It's just everything is so white. The clouds, the ground, everything. Could make it a little more difficult. Coming up on 2,000 now. This is the taxi. Turn that off. You can still see the ground. So 2,200 feet, you can still see the ground, although it's kind of disappearing now. Make for a low approach. But it's uh, just over 40 minutes, so uh, I'll go ahead and speed up literally for just a few seconds, probably. We'll be right back. everybody slowing it down to normal speed about 25 miles out oh that's not what I wanted there's the airport list PABA wait that's a dead horse I thought all right for dead horse traffic that makes no sense six and 24 only six is straight in literally straight in uh, full stop landing and that's our position Papa, Alpha, Bravo, Alpha, traffic Charlie Golf 237 is 24 miles west 5500 inbound to land runway 6 let's just check the map real quick I would figure there's probably not any ILS or anything but we'll just check it out yeah. gravels 4800 feet long just five feet in elevation Hopefully, OpenLC Alaska Canada does not screw this up. I have to cut back on the power here. Take her down to 3,000 feet. I'm, I'm thinking we lost visibility up into the clouds around 25 to 2,800 feet, if I can remember correctly. It took off. I need to go descend a little bit quicker though. Let's say 700 feet a minute. The clouds aren't, it's not real dense though. What is that? 
think that's just some weird stuff on the it almost looks like a mound right there. There shouldn't be. I wouldn't think. Can there be a hill over there? I guess there could be. Yeah, because there's a hill right there. I don't see any islands over here. Yeah, that's... Right? No, it's just weird. I was what I thought it could have been. Like, almost ice and kind of stuff on there. It looks like a hill. And so does that. That looks even more like it. It looks like there's trees and stuff. That's kind of freaky. Traffic look or weather looks real good now. Oh, we got approaches. Let's use the GPS. There's some kind of radar up here for the US, I guess the uh, defense. It's not totally surprising that there's some stuff. GPS. And we'll go ahead and uh, activate the approach. Alright. Reset the altimeter. I was going to say we're at 4,200 feet. Just 11 miles out. Where's that 11 miles to the waypoint? Naked? Was that 16 miles out? 10. Man, hard to read. Can't really see too much. Not sure exactly how far we are away from the runway. Speed this up a little bit. 2x. Surprise our speeds dropping a little bit. Haven't lost haven't lost it. I hit shift H right after I turned it on over here. So, but I usually have been doing that now since I got the tip. But it doesn't always work like that. Up right there at 3,000. Increase the thrust a little bit. Almost kind of want to go down to 2,800. There is the flash. If that's us, then we could be in some trouble. See, it says Nakik is right there, and then there's is the go around path. We're right on the path, seven hundred feet a minute. Just a little worried that that's not it. There's Nakik and then the runway. All right, so distance is one mile to Nakik. All right, it's just not very far over from there. So full rich on the mixture. We're right on the glide slope. It's looking good. Getting a little low now. Shut to 400. Speed's coming down. There we go. The flaps. Increase that to 500. Whoa, girl. Alpha, Alpha, Bravo, Alpha. Traffic, Charlie, Golf, 237. It's on final. We're coming way. down. To land. Autopilot's coming off. everything. Alright. Watch my speed. We're at full flaps. We got way too low I'm trying to deal with all that stuff. Still need a little more power. 
they're gone. I'm okay with being a little high. We are usually high. I'm also okay with being over here to the edge. I cannot get over. speed oh I tried to grab it and we just kind of came down real hard that was not good see how it, we were stalling out right there that was very actually very bad I cut off the throttles kind of early to help us get down what in the world oh my god you know what unbelievable that, that doesn't help, does it? <laughs> that that makes everything even harder. Dumbass alert. Forgot about the 2X, man. That's why we came in so quick. <laughs> I was kind of thinking to myself, we're, get, we're getting there quick. I got off the throttles early uh, to help us get our speed down. Because uh, I was going to put the nose down to drop even quicker, so I got off the throttle, but I think it did a little too much. Although at 2x, everything's not going to work out exactly you think it is. So I think we kind of stalled out above the, the runway. That was not good. That was horrible, in fact. Papa, Alpha, Bravo, Alpha, traffic, Charlie, Golf 237 is clear of the runway. Oh, that's a dumbass alert. Anti-collision lights as well. Take your seatbelts off. At least they didn't seem to care. They still say 100%. Cut off these lights. Taxi light, nav, over at Beacon. I'll go ahead and open the doors, although they probably shouldn't be stepping out with the props still sp spooling down. Turn the battery off. I did turn the battery off. Just things still run. Props or flaps are still down. I get all this stuff off. While they get out. I still don't know how things run <laughs> with the battery off, all the power off. And that electric sound. Probably won't make much on this flight either. I was really, really short. Like, really short. That might be the shortest. But we had a really short one from, like, Homer. Was it Kanai and Homer or something like that on FS Passengers? Alright, we'll end that flight. 98 nautical miles. Time airborne 36 minutes 17 seconds. Flight time 42.11. Time on the ground, 849. Average speed was 164 knots. Climb time, 6 minutes, 52 seconds. Cruise time, 2237. Average cruise speed was 189 knots. Set time, 648. Landing speed, 76.95 knots. Landing touch are coming down quick, 311.54 feet a minute. Uh, landing pitch, 2.24. I, I thought we almost kind of hit the same, if not the freaking nose wheel down. That was horrible. Landing weight. 9,078 pounds. Total fuel use 254 pounds. That's kind of surprising. Plan fuel use 67. Cruise 164 using 436 an hour. Descent fuel use 23 pounds. They thought it was 100% exceptional flight. They believed to have landed safely after the extreme weather they experienced during landing. It wasn't really good. Alright, we got 459 for the tickets, 325 for the cargo, 154 in the f for fuel expense, 12 in the airport tax, 33 insurance. Total world income, 585 bucks. Times the 50, we've got 29,250. I'm surprised we got that much really for that really short flight. Since everything was good at 100%, we increased 1.3% to 87.01. 280 points. Perfect flight, no problems. Very satisfied passengers. 150, you landed to scheduled airport 30. Extreme weather conditioning approach, but safe. 
standing with satisfying passion plus 100. It was a little windy because I was going to have to try, try and crab it a little bit, but it wasn't that bad. It had much, much worse. Anyhow, what if I... No, that wouldn't matter. There's a generator off as well. Alright, but uh, that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. I think on the next one... I'm trying to think because I want to go down to Prudhoe Bay. I can't remember the town again that that's in. But uh, I'm thinking maybe if we can do it on one flight because that'll be... We're up in northeast Alaska and Prudhoe Bay, that area is down like the southwest part of Alaska. So if we can, I kind of want to fly that in one just because that would be a huge money flight for us. Um, But I might have to make one pit stop. I'm kind of worried about the mountains, how high we would have to go because I want to try and keep it more realistic and not... You know, just fly as high as we want to go since it's not really pressurized. But, uh, yeah, that's going to be it for this episode, everybody. I hope y'all did enjoy it. I'll catch you guys on the next flight.